You're on. Hello, my name is Bruce Needham. I am a partner at Kensler IP, and today I'm going to talk about uh, foreign patent protection. When you file a patent in the United States, then eventually when that patent, uh, that application matures into a patent, you get protection only in the United States. So if you want uh, foreign protection in, in uh, foreign countries, then you also have to file a patent application in each country where you want protection. And so there's some key things that you need to know about uh, foreign patent protection. First of all, if you reveal your invention in a, any kind of a public disclosure or an on-sale event or anything like that, before you file a patent, then immediately you lose all of your foreign filing rights and in the United States you start a one-year clock in which to file a patent and if you exceed that one year then you lose all of your um, patent ability. So uh, do not reveal your invention in any way except under a, a non-disclosure agreement uh, before you file a patent. Now, when I say file a patent, I don't mean in all of the other countries because one unique feature that uh, is available in the patent system is that you can file in the United States and then later file in other countries. So what we have is uh, um, from the date of filing in the U.S., you have 12 months to make a decision. And so you don't have to file in all, the other, all of the countries that you, where you want patent protection all at the same time. You can wait. Because if you file in the United States then, and then later file in another country, as long as it's within 12 months, you get the same filing date as if they were all filed the same day as the U.S. patent. And so what we have are two uh, options. There is the Paris Convention option and the Patent Cooperation Treaty option. So at 12 months, you have to make a decision as to which way you want to go. Under the Paris Convention, if you file in all of the countries where you want protection within 12 months, then you get the same filing date, and that date is a very hard date. There is no uh, grace period or anything else. If you don't file within 12 months, you're done. And so if you file in the countries where you want to file within 12 months, then you get that original filing date. But you may, but that, again, you know, that can be a large chunk of money. Um, foreign filing... Uh, can be anywhere from maybe $2,500 to twelve dollars or $13,000, depending upon the country where you file and whether or not there are translations required and that kind of thing. And so that can be a large chunk of money at 12 months. So another option is the Patent Cooperation Treaty, or PCT application. And this PCT application, what you can do is you file that at 12 months, and then... That allows you to then, that, that extends the time for filing in all the other foreign countries. You still have to file in the other countries, but what you have is uh, that extends the filing another 18 months. So you have 30 months from the original filing to be able, and then at the end of 30 months, or in some countries 31 months, you file in those countries and still get the original filing date. And so... For example, if you just, at 12 months, you just don't have the money or you just uh, don't know for sure where you want to file, you can file a PCT application. And one advantage of the PCT application is that, along with that, your, that filing fee, is you get uh, uh, a search. So they do a patent search. They will search the prior art and see what's out there and, and see what patents are close to yours. And then they will issue a written opinion as to patentability. And you can use that uh, written opinion uh, to then further guide you whether you want to move forward with filing in the foreign countries. And so um, a couple of key things to remember again is, first of all, that you do not want to uh, reveal your patent or invention prior to uh, filing a patent. And then once you do file a patent in the U.S., you have 12 months to make a decision uh, for further foreign filing, you could uh, either go the, PC, the, the Paris Convention route and uh, file directly in each country, or you could file a PCT application and then extend that uh, time out to 30 months from the original filing, and then at that point you would file in the, each foreign country. And then once it, you enter, the applications enter those countries, then they go through the, the patenting process.
process in those countries, then um, you work through those countries to get the patents approved in those countries. And then you have uh, foreign patent protection. 